Let's get started. Welcome to the stream, everybody. My name is Green Leader, and today we are continuing on with our adventure in Red Dead Redemption 2. Thoroughly enjoying this game. I think it's fantastic. And uh, we're going to be checking out. Checking out. We're going to see if we can't go try and find and save Sean. He's been holed up. He's been held by bounty hunters in Blackwater. And so the plan is we're going to try and head down there, and uh, I know there's a mission for it, and I believe Javier's already there. So we got to go meet up with Javier and try and save Sean from the Pinkertons that are there in Blackwater. So that's the plan. That's what we'll be doing. Let's go ahead and just get straight into it. You guys are all having a fine Wednesday. This is the last day of the, the stream... Last stream day of the week. I'll be back on Saturday for an extra stream. Uh, with Hot Dog, Raw Dog, and Chicago Foss playing some DayZ. But, uh, yeah. Until then, we're gonna, I'm going to have no streams. A couple days off. Back on. There we go. I'll say it's not already contains. Yeah, 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 sure. That's fine. Okay. Um, so from here. Uh, oh, that's right, that's, uh, fuck it. But we, be heading out of Javier, and seeing if we can't, uh, try and save Sean, essentially, so. That's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna work on, and then after that we might actually start hitting up some bounties. Uh, bounties are actually pretty fun. Oh, I think that'd be super cool to start hitting those. 
Hey, Gabe, how's it going, man? The one of you robbing the saloon at Valentine's? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. It's coming, though. It, it'll it'll be there eventually. Uh, but the uh, but right now we're gonna try and we're gonna try and save Sean first. See if we can't uh, get him out of the hands of the Pinkertons. We'll see. I don't I don't remember if we actually do or not. I half remember it, but it's been. Madison. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. <laughs> I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, go on. No! Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Arthur doesn't like Sean? I don't know about Arthur does or doesn't like Sean. I actually don't remember. Whoa! The fuck was that? You hear that? Easy. Like a badger? Skunk? What the hell was that? It's screeching up a storm. I am curious to see what this is, but uh, I also want to see what these. Uh, Oh, it's a mushroom. Interesting. Parasol mushrooms, okay. That was the Mothman. <laughs> Sounded unearthly, that's for sure, man. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. That was creepy as hell. We got some more yarrow, but I can't pick it. And what do we got over here? More wild carrots. Time to get going. I'm gonna stop wasting time and back to Blackwater. You know some uh, crytoids. Crytoids? What does that mean? Uh, some believe can be little pockets of animals uh, we thought were extinct but survive on very small population. Really? That's interesting. Cryptoids. I also don't know what that means. <laughs> What's a cryptoid? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta... We have a stranger mission here. Let's, let's see what's actually here. Always try and make it a habit of stopping and checking out stranger missions because if I don't, I'm gonna forget about it. And then completely screw up, so. Do you smoke, sir? Sure. <laughs> Perhaps not as much as you. 
Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. This is about the card okay. collecting. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day just so I can keep crap. opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Life oh, reaffirming cigarettes. Amount of money. <laughs> a yep. veritable fortune, sir. Fortune. Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. Meow so meows rare. of the desert. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Randbottom, at your service. Okay. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Okay. Will do. Farewell. I would think with the amount of cards that he's collecting that he would have already had quite a few of them. So, interesting. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I don't think I actually got that when I first played. It looks like all these legends around the world depicting a strange unknown creature, for example, the Mothman or the French Beast of uh, Givadan. Beast of Jeepadon was most likely an escaped rare cat, like a tiger that escaped and prowled the countryside. Really? That's interesting. Wait. Oh, I see. There's a... The path here. And there's actually another stranger mission here. And as I said, I can't, I can't, can't turn down checking out these stranger missions. I think I see where he is. Sure. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. <laughs> Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. <laughs> I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well. Uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They uh, created the two treasure maps, maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Me? Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. 
A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. You know, we'll buy the map from I got ten bucks. I can do that. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Now, we're not going to do this now, but... Kind of cool. Kind of cool to find it. Good luck to you. Okay. First treasure map. Again, we won't, we're won't. we not going to do it right this second, because I do want to get on with uh, trying to get Sean out of the Pinkerton's grasp, but... Yep. We can go from there. Anyway, now that we have done that, let's head down to Javier. The Beast of Jadan was most likely an escaped rare cat, like a tiny- That's right, I remember reading that. People thought it was an unknown, out-of-this-world creature killing people because most people in the 1700s France hadn't seen a big cat. Yep, makes sense. Kind of makes sense. I mean, I, th I thought the lion was kind of well-known in France, though, right? But I kind of get what you're saying. Like, it, it's a big cat, but it's striped. Yeah. Unlike anything they'd probably ever seen before. That's understandable. Going on. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Oh, you some bitch. Yeah, I don't think so, bitch. What a POS. Let's see what you got. Jackass trying to steal my horse. Lion was well known, but they described it like a giant cat with a wolf-like face. Ah, oh, interesting. Could be a leopard or something similar. And that could, that would make sense, right? But I mean, okay, yeah. Girl. Even if they were familiar with lions, tigers look relatively different, right? Just because the the color difference and the uh, and the fact that it has stripes. I could see people getting someone confused and thinking it's something, as you say, like it's out of this world, particularly back in those days, so. Taking me. I would have thought it would have taken me a little bit more south. Although I am going pretty south. I don't know. I just don't remember coming this way to go to Blackwater the last the first time I played it, so. Interesting. Yeah, those are enemies. Those are... Those are patrols. Just got me a Montreal sandwich. What's a Montreal sandwich? I am curious. 
curious. Pretty sure if those guys see me, it will, uh, they'll, they'll auto hostile on me, so we don't want to do that. We've got ribeye, hash browns, cheese fried, cheese, comma, fried onions. I thought that meant, I thought that was cheese fried onions. Like, what the hell is cheese fried onions? But it's cheese and fried onions. Tomatoes, pickles, and special Montreal sauce. Ooh. What is what is in said Montreal sauce? I am curious. Okay, you know, hold on. Where the hell is this taking? Okay, you know, I do not have to go on the road. We can we can go this way. Well, that sounds really good. That sounds super good. No, I cannot, but that's fine. I don't know what's good, tangy and spicy. The ribeye is amazing. Nice. That's not, It sounds really good. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Mm hmm Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Ash Brown's in the sandwich. O M F G. Yes. I'm sure, Ash Brown's. I'm sure Ash Brown's are actually pretty great in the sandwich. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. That was the girl. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. Down there. Yeah, there's Reckon the boat. Those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? Agreed. I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So... You've been gone for a while. 
Mm -hmm. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. <laughs> the longest ride of my life. <laughs> cute, dear boy. Funny. Very cute. Oh, uh, that's funny. Push up, come on. Hey man, I'm Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. I would imagine that too. In fact, it might be better to find the camp first. Take them out, and then, uh... Then should wait for Sean and the boat to arrive on their own. Also, trying to make sure that I can get the dialogues right here. You never quite know when it's going to give you the option to talk. Or if he's just going to talk automatically. You're alright, girl. Look! They've stopped! Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. Sure. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up Ooh. enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. <laughs> oh yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Oh, dude, Javier. Watch Javier. Out. You watch out, dude. You've been running into me. Sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head. Now. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until yep. he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Okay, come on, stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lindo, what you got there, eh? 
the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Oh gosh, there's a... It's a damn trap! You're dead? You're dead now. Sure. Come on, let's get up there. I don't think Charles might need us. Hey, watch out for these two. Oh. Ah. Ah. Jackasses. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go. Yeah, what about far. you? The cap's up this way. Come on. Take the left side. Charles, you go right, okay? I guess. Take him down! Uh. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Charles bound? We should trust in ourselves. Chip. Yeah, Still maybe. Time. On top of the tower, who's got a shot on him? Got him. Nice, good shooting. They're not at the lock cabin. Damn it. Nice shot, good shot. Of course there are. I like the rifle. Give some decent range. Okay. Let's get shot. Jackass. Come on. Sean, Sean, Sean. Arthur. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. Mm-hmm. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. See, Arthur knows right. where it's at. Gotta okay, loot the bodies. Come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. His voice sounds really familiar, actually. Oh, 
Okay, what did I do wrong this time? Silently kill the bounty hunters by uh, River with Javier. Shoot the rope to free shot. Oh, get 10 headshots. Yeah, could have done that. In a second, but I do want to pick up loot the rest of these bodies. What? What crime reported? Who reported the crime? Get out of here quickly before they, the law shows up. We'll wait for that one to go away and then we'll go back, see if the bodies are still there. If they've despawned. I wonder if it's just the one guy, because if it's just the one guy, we might just end up taking him out. Oh shit, there's a whole posse! I made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Grady. And I literally could only see the one guy, which was just irritating. And you know what? I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with this being me having a bounty here. It's not here. I can go do other stuff and I can come back and pay the bounty later. So I will quickly let the law calm down and then I'll go because there's also a uh, there's also in fact a uh, side mission. There. 
girl. Can I cross here? I can't cross here. I can cross here, though. Strawberry, if you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. I've had it with you. Get away from me. Never mind, all right? I don't want your help. Oh no, this isn't happening! <laughs> I did Oh no. Hey Nunu, how's it going, man? Mistakes compounded by trying to jump headbutt him at the enemy. Yep, yep, that's accurate. That is accurate. How's your night going, Nunu? Hope you're doing well, man. And no, I'm not chasing this guy down. He's just running in the direction I'm trying to go. I'm good, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. I can't get any worse, right? Can't get any worse. Can't get any better, I should say. It's one of my favorite games. So It's been a very long time since I last played. Geographical Society. Morning, dear. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture... A grumpy house frau or pompous <laughs> middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest, but well, yeah. I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, and good heavens, my bag that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens, don't worry. That thing is a Kyle, sneaky one, too. Wildlife photography. <laughs> Oh, this is right where those cops were. Drop the bag. Yeah, that'll work. Was I told not to shoot the damn thing? And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Could have just shot the damn thing.
out your bag. Oh, good, good. Please come here. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. That is true. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. True. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Arcadia for amateurs. Hold for details. Albert Mason, a wildlife photographer, has a big has it has a big has a bag stolen by a coyote while setting up his camera. Okay. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for my damn horse. I'll set him up right here. I hitched him to this damn tree. Where the hell did he run off to? Hey there, boy. Or, no, it's a girl. It's Jupiter. To the oh, shut Unless your you damn Miami, face. Well, I hope you do get eaten. Sorry, girl. There we go. That's a good girl. Bad girl. Want to hear something insane? To be honest, not really. <laughs> I've had enough insane things throughout the day. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Gib? Yeah. Uh, there's there's enough insanity as it is. I, I don't need another insane thing to hear today. Now, where was I actually going? My... 5800 3D is bottlenecking. 5800 3D? What's 5800 3D? Is bottlenecking the 4090? What, what is that? It's one of the most powerful gaming CPUs. Is that Ryzen? Is that, is that a Ryzen AMD? Or is that an Intel? What? I've not even heard of that. 50, 5800 X3D. I'm familiar with that. There it is. Oh, it's a Ryzen. It is a Ryzen. Damn. Yep, Ryzen. I mean, on one hand, I kind of get it. I'm pretty sure that when you're dealing with a graphics card of that intensity, I don't think, I don't think there would be a single GPU that would be able to handle it, right? Or not GPU, CPU. You know? So I, I, it would make me question, you know, whether whether or not any CPU could actually handle that. So that that would be just the one thing. Baked beans? I don't want baked beans. I don't want assorted offal. I don't want uh, provisions assorted biscuits, crackers, canned strawberries, fine brandy, open Guam rum. So I should do. Oh, it gives me a little bit of dead eye. I see. Some Kentucky bourbon. Premium cigarettes. Some ci regular cigarettes. Cigar. I don't, I don't have any meat on me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of hunting. Uh, thirteen nine nine hundred K is also bottleneck. Yes. Yes, I would not be surprised, dude. I would literally not be surprised if any CPU could actually keep up with the 4090 at this point. I actually just got baked beans today because Heinz, uh... But the British one? But the British one? Is there a British one? Like... Like, so, like, my dad, we get, we get original Bush's baked beans, and he loves it because that is, uh... uh He's always been a big fan of baked beans on toast and things like that. And so... He loves it, and it tastes just like what he would have gotten when he was in England or back in South Africa when he used to have it, so... That's interesting. I didn't know Heinz 
I didn't know Heinz made a specifically English made baked beans. Oh gosh, okay, so I can't go in that way. Howdy there, friend. Howdy. 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 Uh can I not receive the mail? No, I cannot. Can I receive mail? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Happy to help you start over. And I can't pay the bounty either. Shit. Oh. I was introduced to baked beans in England, actually. Thanks. I'm not, same thing with my dad, actually. So, when my dad was 16, uh, he and his parents went up from South Africa to go visit... What did you do? Uh, to go visit his brother, who was spending some time in England at the time and as well as to essentially go and visit where his mom was born because his mom was born in England um, but he was born in South Africa right and so when he was up there he actually one I think one of the restaurants was like a B and b or not one of the restaurants one of the places that they stayed in was like a B&B &B, and they had a you know they had your option of, of different things that you could have for for breakfast and he oh. One of the things was beans on toast, and he wanted to try it out, and he did, and he's loved it ever since. So, yeah, he's he's a big fan of the uh, of the baked beans on toast. Hello. This is. I believe this is the trapper. Hello. You new to these parts, sir? I'm a blow-in myself. Howdy. See what you got. All made to measure. Thank you. The bear hunter. Trophy buck. You not own this item? Well, yeah, clearly. A hat, which I would need to get a legendary coyote pelts and an evil feather. Legendary pronghorn hide. Legendary coyote. One perfect cow hide, one perfect goat hide. One of a kind pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth hmm. the legwork, I assure you. Baked beans are underrated. I th I think I agree with you. Baked beans are underrated. Uh, I did say that right the first time, right? Underrated, not overrated. Underrated. I love baked beans. Baked beans are great. And again, I can't. <sighs> What's the word? Baked beans. I can't underestimate also, uh, uh, or underemphasize baked beans on toast specifically. So. Yeah. Easy. Whoa. Thought I heard something. Oh well. Okay. Now I'm not gonna be paying off this bounty. Instead, uh, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna see. Oh yeah, that's right. There's Hosea. There's the Le Leopold Strauss's uh, other one. Any money in other sins three. Interesting. And then we'll do Kiernan's quest, and then we'll do that one. Witcher 3 RTX update is brutal. What do you mean? How's it brutal? What makes it brutal? Yep. I actually haven't tried it out. I, I upgraded my uh the one because I own it on um the Xbox 360, or Xbox One, and then they had a next-gen console update, which then, uh, uh... Howdy? Hold on. Sorry, I have to see this guy. This guy's freaking out. 
Stay. Stay Juniper and boiled Satan, you scared me. Sorry, sir. Boiled Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Oh, really? Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot tail. Don't you follow me now. I think we can follow him. Come on, girl. I'm definitely following him. Mm mm. Mm mm. Sounds like you got a map. I don't like it when folks follow me about. I don't like it when folks lie to me. It's a benchmark now. My 4090 gets like 65 FPS. Really? With RTX on no... Well, I mean, yeah. There, there it is. There it is. That's all you had to say. RTX on. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. RTX is brutal. Ray tracing is kind of crazy when it comes to... You know games so if you're if you're gonna put ray tracing on it's going to take a lot of processing power man that's a lot of math so I'm sure it looks nice I personally think it's overrated but I'm sure it looks nice makes the Witcher world look so different okay It's not just RTX and uh, this new update. They added uh, foliage and things like that. It's, it's a no. I understand that. I do understand that. But I know I I'm specifically talking about the RTX stuff, and people tend to make a huge deal out of it, and I think it's just a little overrated. I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm not saying that scientifically speaking and mathematically speaking, it's not interesting. But I always feel like uh, people make it out like it's a lot more than really what it is or what it's worth, in my opinion. So that's all. Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Even without the RTX, uh, will look better than before. Yeah, I'm sure. Absolutely. Ooh, trusty steed. You reached max bonding level with a horse. Whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Certainly, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe I me, sir, met this guy yet. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. 
I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. <laughs> I know, please. Right? Drows told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? How's that dead looking now? Please, please, no. <sighs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. Wow, Arthur. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Yep. One of the saddest missions, really. In my opinion not just not because of anything that's happened to anybody nobody's really died yet but I mean it's sh it shows kind of as much as Arthur's actually a relatively good guy particularly if you play him a certain way but certainly some foul things that he's done You see kind of how it wears on him. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Yes, it did. It was the Germans, always the Germans. If he didn't send Arthur to collect, I know, right? How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we're gonna hit that bank I told you about. We'll see. We shall see. Think of your new home. Let me go now, please. No can do. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Mm -hmm. yeah, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hello, Dutch. Complete the mission within two minutes. Oh well. Swanson, do you have another beer in your damn hand? Ah, Mr. Morgan. You all right there, Reverend? Yes, yes. Happy to have young Sean back. Yep, there you are. Hey there. Hi, Mr. Morgan. And there's Sean. You gotta join me here. Hey, Sean. Leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you, too, English. <laughs> it ain't just for you. Okay, Morgan. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, it pickling his liver and getting him closer to death, sure. We're 
just gonna trim down the chops. I'll let the beard, I'm gonna let the mustache and beard continue to grow. What I really would like would be able to go into town and get a haircut. Not sure if that's actually an option yet. Is that Javi? Did good with Sean. Wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. Better than rescuing than dead collecting. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Scatter. Hi there. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I. Well, we got that taken care of. I'm going to head into town and I'm going to see what's going on with that doctor's office. Bro, you know, if you start drinking at 20 every day and live past the age of 40, you're marinated at that point and it won't kill you. Yeah, whatever. Yep. I know for a fact that that is not true. Because uh, it uh, did some major damage to my grandfather, who drank pretty much since before he was 20. Uh, and he did not die well. He didn't really live that well either, because he was drunk a lot of the time. And he was angry a lot of the time. So, yeah. Okay, we are gonna first before we start, we're gonna do a couple of bounties. Before we do, I do want to quickly uh, go check out and see what's going on at that doctor's office. Hey, hey, let's talk about this, Arthur. Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Take it easy. I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. Hmm. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Uh, I've only just found recently that eating organs can potentially help your own organs. Really? interesting like liver very healthy liver is very healthy i'll give you that much that is true and i do like look i do like some liver liver can be very very tasty when done right So you see how there's a question mark back here. In the back end of the uh, doctor's office. You can actually come in here and do a little bit of investigating. Yep. 
Interesting. This is counting money. That's not particularly interesting. Joe Rogan on his recent podcast brought up a study that showed eating testicle can increase certain hormones in your body and that it makes uh, these tribes survive because they eat it uh, they eat it all, not just the meat, but every last organ. Interesting. Hmm. Hunter-gatherers, uh, what made them strong is lots of organs. Kind of makes sense, right? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, minerals and proteins and whatnot that are, you miss out on by not eating them, if that makes sense. So. Found a hidden operation and you can now rob shop's side business. Okay. Kind of get in there. Good evening, Mister. Hey there. Howdy. New in town? Snake oil. You have no you idea good? the trouble I had to go through to get that. If you're gonna want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look in my catalog. Reckon there's anything more I can do for Tommy. Hold on, I'm not about to sell to you. Let me into that back room of yours right now, sir. Mm -hmm. Please, you don't want to get involved with them. I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Oh, let me just read this. There's also a study that showed that shark will attack the organ of a fish or whatever it is chewing on. That a shark will attack the organ? Interesting. Goes for the liver first? Ah, that's cool. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got going. Ah! Oh, gosh. A boom. Don't kill me. You're fine, ma'am. It's gonna take all this money. Oh shit! No, you don't, honey. I'm sorry. I know now I'm on it. We know you're in there. Shit. Dumb move. See if I can go out this way. Yeah, it's clear. Can I not? Can I not get out of here? What the hell happened hey, here? Stand down. Nope. Sorry, bud. Why am I? Okay. I have a face mask up. Immediately, Arthur Morgan wanted. I'm like, what? No, no, no. How the hell? How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Can I even get out of here? No, I don't want to swap hats, damn it. Is that what the law says? Bastard. 
Run outside. Run around here. It's our bitch. Excuse me. Don't stop, horse. Let's go. I should have gotten out of there sooner. trail. The lawmen are going to be searching, but they're not going to be able to find me. We're going to go up into this uh, high country here. That would be an elk. Big horn. Damn it. Yeah, there we go. Big horn ram. Yeah. No, I wasn't wanting to look at the pandium. I was wanting to look at the map. Come on. Bounty of $40, but... Um, where do I look at my inventory? Was it only 50 I should have just taken the money and gotten out. Oh, we got a Driscoll boys up there. Over here. Oh shit! <laughs> was not exactly what I was wanting. Large masks. Uh, Hydra didn't anyone. I didn't any well commit crimes. Again, let's turn that shit off. Thank you. Gosh. I watched HBO Last of Us. 
I heard the first two episodes were pretty good. I don't know how the rest of it went, but I heard the first two were at least good. If you would give me a minute, please. This one, anyway. In the end, I only really made ten bucks from that. First two episodes were amazing. Third was, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, because I personally... I'm sorry, but personally for me, Last of Us is overrated. Uh... I just didn't get, like, people make such a huge deal about it, and I was always like, yeah, it seems like an interesting story game, but, like, people make it out like it's revolutionary, it's doing these amazing things, and I'm like, it's, it's, it's a story adventure game, like, I think this did a much better job in terms of storytelling, personally, between the show, or between the game, The Last of Us, and this, I much prefer this. Oh, am I glad I found you. The Arthur, hell? They got Bill. What? Who has him? Who's got Bounty Bill? Men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? Yeah. All right. Lead Let's go. The way. So how'd you find him? You said he was going hunting? Never returned. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Yeah. Worry about how to kick it later. I don't know what Neil was smoking. Yeah, I mean... I heard he was wanting to take it in a different direction. And I suppose that's the reason why he, he wanted... Because from what I have heard is that the third episode deviated quite a bit from the game. Whereas the first two were like almost shot for shot remakes of the game. So, yeah, I don't know. He just wants to infuse whatever it is that he's got into into the show for whatever reason, so. Yeah. But, as I said, I never really cared for it. Okay, Not saying that it was bad, but I just I've I've always felt that Last of Us was kind of overrated. So there they are, on foot from here. Stake out your position. Hey, you idiot! Never hear a dungeon. Boys, you're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. Shaking in our boots. <laughs> uh, I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Get us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a nice warm sleep. <laughs> Think so. Let's go. Get me out of here. Uh, first of all, let me loot this. Come on, cut me loose. I will in a second. Calm your tits. <laughs> Uh, 
There, I gotta cut you loose. I owe you fellers Damn for this. Damn right you do. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. No well, problem, Hobby. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sounds good. Uh, the third episode only had like three minutes of Joel and Ellie and had nothing to do with the Last of Us game at all. Yeah, I heard about that. That was essentially what I really heard. was just that they they deviated so much from the show at that point that... Like, really, you know, what's what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of doing this? Like, they, episodes one and two were like so close to the show from what I understand. And then episode three is just like, yeah, here's nothing of the show. Or here's nothing of the game. Right? It's just some extra story that nobody really cared about. Take those biscuits. Take the brandy. Confiscated. Hmm. Ooh, there's a chest. I don't even see that. Let me see what's in here. I'll take that. And the snake oil. And whatever the hell that is. Love how they gave tidbits on how the virus started in Jakarta. Really? Interesting. Stranger mission here. Oh well. Let's go check it out. Yeah. The study of plants, my friend. Familiar ain't quite Herbology? the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. Hmm. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. All right, what am I to find? I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You oh. can distinguish it by its red flower. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Yeah, I've already found a ton of that. Yeah, 
<laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. Hmm. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. I believe so. All this help, you deserve something in return. Oh, thank well, thank you. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Oh, will gladly take it. Thank you very much. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't yeah, mind, I'll be don't ask back how. to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. It's nice to meet I you. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. What's scary is that, uh, what if something like this does jump to man? We know ants can have these fungal infections which turn them into literal zombies, these infection suits. Yeah, I know these infection suits. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I thought this was mine. I'm, my apologies, my apologies. You're pathetic. Shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Damn it, I took... <laughs> it's not the second time. That is now the second time that I've jumped on onto a horse that is not mine. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to piss you off. Yep. Well... As soon as I gave some arrow, let's pick up some more. Hey girl. Yeah. I think for me the issue with those types of infections, right? That like fungals, you know, zombie fungus infection. It would have it's got to make so many jumps before it even gets to humans. So and even then the human the human uh what's the word? Immune system. The human immune system is actually considerably more powerful than people think. So yeah. Can I really not study that? Funny. White tail buck, okay. Whoa! The hell? Roadkill. See that very often. Oh, there it is. One. See if there's any plants nearby. Oh, there are. There are a couple. More yarrow. There's these plants as well, which I think are raspberries? Red raspberry, yes indeed. Very nice. Yarrow. What is this? Oh, I found some time. Okay. Time is great. Because when you combine it with some of the meat that you can actually uh, cook in this game, 
it actually does wonders for the meat because it turns it into essentially a superfood, which is actually really cool. Let's see if we can't get down a little closer to those other uh, animals and see what we can uh, learn about them. Kentucky Saddler. Tail deer. Restart one right there. Well, they got legs uh, ahead and so on. What else do we need to learn? Are you talking about <laughs> study? I mean, it it uh, it un unlocks like the ability to track them and know just from the tracks what they are, which is useful. Slow it up. At this point, uh, I don't really care that much about. I just need some meat. Yep. So we're gonna go and chase these things down. Not the... Oh, I didn't kill it. And that's fine. I'm, I'm really just needing the meat res of right now. We're just going to skin it while we're here. Uh, they got the legendary animals. Those are insane. Yes. Absolutely. store anymore. We got uh, more carrots, and then what do we got over here? Oh, parasol mushrooms. Okay. Too many mushrooms and soon Arthur will be a zombie. <laughs> maybe. Never know. Maybe this maybe it's got that crossover. Red Dead uh Red Dead of us. Last of Redemption. Something like that. Out oh, the other other straw. Mm, yeah. Raspberry. Oh. Never mind. I thought there were two or three normally. There is not. Now, what is this? Ah, oregano. Very nice. Very nice. Funny you say that. The original Red Dead Redemption had DLC. Yes, they did. The Undead Nightmare. It was a zombie DLC, correct. I played it. 
It's a. Uh, it, it is intense. <laughs> I will say that. More oregano? Yes, please. But yeah, very fun. That's that. I suppose is my one disappointment with uh, Red Dead Redemption is that the uh, Red Dead Redemption Two is that they didn't really have any sort of like DLC for the game. So that was that was a bit uh, obnoxious. Now this one we're gonna keep. I'm not gonna skin this one. We'll take it into town and sell it. My favorite DLC, I wish Rockstar brought out a Red Dead Redemption 2 Undead Nightmare. Or I mean or any story DLC, rather than focus and this is my problem with GTA 5 and their online requirements. Uh, you know, playing uh, GTA Online or Red Dead Online is that they were focused so much on the multiplayer. But the problem is I kind of hated the multiplayer. <laughs> so I was never really much of a fan of that stuff. You all right, girl? I suppose that's why I haven't really spent that much time in uh, GTA Online or Red Dead Online because it it's just doesn't interest me as much. I would have much rather... I would have paid them an additional 20 bucks for a story DLC. I would have absolutely paid them money for a story DLC. And I did for the first Red Dead Redemption. So it is a bit yep. obnoxious, sad, irritating. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. Easy, easy. Some Morgan. For you, you're another Morgan. Some Morgans abound in this little, this little group of horses. And I can hear my horse shitting. I'm hearing what sounds like a chipmunk. Don't get me started on that. I put blood and sweat into Red Dead Online and they just drop support in favor of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, that too. And yes, I would also like a single player DLC, but Rockstar doesn't see any money in that. Which is ridiculous because they're... L people would literally... Mm -hmm. I literally don't get it. I paid f full price for all the DLC for GTA 4. I paid full price for the DLC in GTA, or in, in Red Dead Redemption, the first one. I paid for the single player stuff. How How is there no money? There is plenty of money. There's just, n the best thing they could argue is that, oh no, we could technically make more money over a longer period of time uh, via pay to win models in an online multiplayer game mode. Pay to win sucks. Everybody hates it. The only people who really like it are people who suck at games, who just want to pay pay money and then get all the, the nice shit to be able to kill people easily. And that's largely what happened to GTA Online. It's why I didn't really play a lot. Because I was constantly bitching and moaning at the people who just paid a bunch of money and then got access to a whole bunch of weapons and flying cars and shit and just were constantly killing you every five seconds. And anybody who didn't want to pay that money or couldn't afford to pay that money, we're just kind of left behind. So fucking stupid, man. Uh, do you know that Grand Theft Auto Online is a... is a... the goose that lays a golden egg for Rockstar. They made a fortune. I'm sure they did. Yeah. That's what I was, that's what I was just saying. I'm sure they made a shit ton of money on it. But I'm sure they also made a shit ton of money on GTA 4 and the DLC for GTA 4 as well. So, I found it extremely irritating uh, that they gave up on it in favor of just largely multiplayer only. So. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Sure. Hey, real gunslinger? 
It's fine now. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me? Mm -hmm. oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Sure. Right, we have a mind. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be okay. patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Need one more. No, don't reload. Oh, there we man. go. Stupid, stupid. Oh, that was close. Ah, uh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, <sighs> uh, here it is. Okay, man of my word. Much appreciated. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Indeed. Oh man, fun little challenge. We can go sell this deer and make some more cash. And apparently it ain't looking too good for Grand Theft Auto 6. They may be pulling an EA, oh gosh, horses. They may be pulling an EA with transactions in game like what they did in Battlefront 2. I hate that. that that would make me very disappointed if they did that. Now, do we have any confirmation of this at all, or is it just uh, is is it just rumor at this point? Yeah, that's my girl. This should be raspberries, damn it. That's more oregano over here. Uh, there was a massive GTA leak a few months ago. I do remember that. Um, I'm not going to trust any leaks until I actually hear anything from them specifically, so... Yeah. I mean, just because Rockstar is removing it does not necessarily mean it's it's uh, real. It may, like, it might be that they have like a bunch of uh, beta footage or stuff that they've thrown out, and you know somebody just had got access to that leak, and so there you go. I don't know. As I said, I would want to wait until it comes out. If it comes out and turns out and it's, that it didn't match what was. Uh, you know, in the leak, then fine. But until then, I think it's just speculation. Uh, who knows exactly what it is, so I don't know. Okay, my girl. Yeah. I thought I already cleaned my horse recently. No, I don't have a heart. I'm sorry. Real hungry here. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. Howdy. I don't mind that being only one star, 80 cents, but this is going to be seven dollars. There we go. And I can go and cook up that and these. The hell? Before we do the next mission, I'm gonna quickly. Uh, I'm gonna quickly head. Oh gosh! Ooh, what the hell! Did I hear shooting? I thought I heard shots. I did hear shots. Stop shooting the hats off. Trespassing? What? No, come on. I'm trying to help you fight, you jackass. Oh, gosh. At this point, I think it's better that I die. Oh, my gosh. Everything said her. Said here is definitely not confirmed by Rockstar. Uh, it may be that GTA 6 will be going fully online. There will be no online world because your single player world would be that. I doubt this is uh, this part of the leak, but it's... If true, imagine GTA Online fused with your GTA 5 single player experience, it would suck. Yes. Oh, I'm glad I muted right at the right time. Yes, that would suck. It's the entire reason why I spent the vast majority of my time in the single-player world, not the online world. Same thing with this game. I liked the online world from time to time because I could hang out with a buddy of mine who also had the game, and we'd hang out and we'd go do stuff. But, like, the majority of the time, it was single-player. It was the single-player experience, and that was it. So, with them saying that it's going to be online, if that is the case, right? It's a leak. Again... Not going to believe it for a second until they actually confirm it. But uh, yeah, I would that would suck in my opinion. That's how we get the microtransactions. If you think Grand Theft Auto Online sucks, this would be this would ruin the single player permanently in GTA franchise. Correct, a hundred percent. I would not pick it up. I would not buy the game if that were the case. I'm back, girl. So. Yeah, screw that. Now let's see if this re-triggers. It does not. Okay, so, okay. Weird. What are you doing, horse? Go! 
Come on. You can do it. That's a good girl. Ah, uh, you good girl? Yeah. But yeah, that would definitely that would definitely kind of ruin the experience for me. It it would not it would be very bad. Wouldn't mind co-op so I can bring a friend along, but not six... Yeah, exactly. No, I agree. If they made it such that you could play co-op, and you could go into the world with a buddy, right? I would be fine with that. Yeah. That would be okay, right? You could, you could create a co-op session, and then you could play with a buddy. And you could go and do the missions together. That would be fun. But it's... And again, as I said, I don't trust leaks until it's co actually confirmed. Um, but the idea that somehow... Easy now. Yeah, it just, it just seems like such a bad idea. Turkey. At least I can take that back to camp. Uh, well, you know, people are buying, currently buying shark cards uh, still, all 10 years later. Yeah, I believe it. I would say that's 100% the reason why, uh, you know why they haven't uh, essentially moved on and made another one. That's that's my personal belief, or why they haven't moved on and made. In fact, uh, didn't they cancel Bully Two? Like they were going to make uh, a second Bully game, but then they never did it. So. Everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Gosh. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Uh, I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> okay. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Come on, let's enjoy ourselves. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? 
Mind if I join you, Damn fine it. folks? Hey, Risk well, let's have some food. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what dress? Oh, let him have some fun. He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally! So good to be well, And she was Mr. Sanford's dream. I put my hand on her toe. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, young man, you're rather low for a deal, little, little all day. That's actually pretty funny. Upon her thigh, Mark. Well, what I do say, said you're getting pretty nigh to my little, little, little holiday. I put my head upon her ass. Mark, well, what I do say, she said, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. How about something a little more... What the hell? Did you see that? <laughs> Javier just like rotates and lifts up into the air. And I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> me and you. Never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we was going to see you again. Right, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there are. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get him another beer. This is number three for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure thing, Mary Beth. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. Yeah. Is that what you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Oh well, my. That's about all I can muster. Feels like eight. Oh, John's drunk.
okay? Cute. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. <laughs> yep. Uh, they were going to make a Red Dead Redemption remake using the assets in Red Dead 2, and that was also shelled. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. Come on, Arthur. Catch you later, then. All righty. Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Mm. All right, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh. What was I doing? Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. <laughs> Me too. Let me ride on the ring dang doo, the ring dang doo. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call ring dang doo. <laughs> Said that it was a mighty fine fellow. Whisk me to let me ride on the ring dang do the ring dang do now. What is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. Her father come in angrily said, Now you have lost your main head. Pack your bag and coat packs too. Dirty old song. She went off to be a whore. Hey, this time upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Soft and round like a pussy cat. You're right, Jose. Nice to see you in a good mood. Am I stuck in the past, Arthur? Oh, only you can answer that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> yeah, drunk Irishman. Even all them strokes is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Art. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. You know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. And you are piss drunk right now, dude. You can't even walk. Love Irish folk. So do I, actually. Got a lot of Irish blood in me, so I 
Yeah, I love the Irish. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. Poor girl lost her husband. I don't blame her. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. Hey, you want a drink? Oh, yes, like you wouldn't believe. Help yourself. They're just over there. Yeah, the Russians of Western Europe. <laughs> uh, you drink with them all the time. Uh, sad, what's going on right now? They're close to open revolt in Ireland. Really? I didn't know that. Wow. Who is saying what? I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo. I came on a living God for a few days. Seriously. Sounds like Sean's causing some shit. Snoring, that's all. Well, I think the only way for me to end the party is to essentially go to bed. So, we're gonna go to bed. People got upset. I don't know the entire story, but apparently Britain was taking their migrants and shipping them off Ireland and the Irish government, who's supposed to hate Britain, is accepting them open arms. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Wow. Good morning, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention John? of going back anytime soon. Why the hell? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. The hell you and your skivvies. Gotta go put some pants on. Massive backlash. People don't understand the Irish issue is as hot as the Israel-Palestine issue with Northern Ireland under under occupation. Yeah, yeah, I understand that much. One fuck of away from foreign. I mean, they've been saying that for a long time though. Ugh, why so. did I drink all that? Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Well, here you Just go. Just time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. Yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Nope. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly go to... Because there's a fire over here, which I can use to craft some stuff. And then we're going to hit up uh, the Kiernan mission quickly. When the Irish government bends over for the Brits, you can understand the outrage. Yeah. 
Okay, why can't I craft on here? Hello? Oh, I have to specifically say, rest by the fire. And then I can craft. There we go. Okay, now I can do time venison, which does what? Well, restores dead eye core, greatly restores health core and stamina core. Hell yeah. We're gonna try and just cook as many of these as we can. At best, at this point, outcome would be protest, next election, the, that government is done, no way they are winning. Yeah. I think that's most likely what'll probably end up happening. So. Yeah. Actions have consequences, essentially, and if you're gonna do shit to piss off the people, they're gonna, they're essentially gonna show it by how they vote. So I can't cook another because I'm out of venison, but I can cook some game. And I can cook oregano game. Two of these. And it's good to do this just because it's certainly better than the store-bought food that you can get in the game. I never understood the entire issue. Both Irish and Brits are lovely people, but the hatred... Well, it comes from years and years of the Brits essentially conquering and, you know, for lack of a better word, oppressing the Irish. I mean, it's been like that pretty much since, uh... Since Elizabeth I. Is Elizabeth I or Elizabeth II? Hold on. Elizabeth the Great is... is Nope. Not Elizabeth of Russia. I'm talking about Elizabeth of England. There we go. Yep, Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen, the Good Queen, Bess. Uh, yeah. So she eventually ended up, if I remember correctly, went along and conquered Ireland as well as uh, forced. Scotland under under British rule and in conquering Ireland Ireland like the Irish are all largely Catholic and with Elizabeth being Protestant and being very uh, anti-Catholic uh, she pretty much treated them like shit and so did a lot of the re rest of the Protestant English did so, it, it goes back hundreds of years. I mean, all the way back to here. And even then, the Irish and the Brits were... Irish, Brits, and Scots were constantly fighting with each other. And the Welsh. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. I understand some, I only found out about the Irish famine this year, apparently caused directly by the actions of the British government, which led to millions of dead. Wow, I did not know that. But yeah, I mean, this this whole issue with the Brits goes, as I said, all the way back to Elizabeth I. 
So, I mean, it's it's been like that for a long time. Oh, okay. Um, we can make a couple. Oh, and there's snake oil. Ooh, okay. And ammo. Can do that, but I'm not gonna do it right this second. Weapons, make some dynamite, make some fire bottles, nice. Hunting. For debate, I need stringy meat and blackberries. Actually, it looks like pretty much any berry will do. Okay. Good to know. In regards to the Scots and Welsh, if humans can't share an island, I think we as a species may be going in the wrong direction. Uh... At this point, their cultures are so intertwined, party could win if one party wins, that means two lost. Yeah, I know, right? There's no one. It's, it's just one of those situations where it's just, there's a lot of people involved, you know? And there's been a lot of infighting between them for literally centuries. Like, they have conquered each other multiple times, so... And unfortunately, there's a lot of blood, bad blood because of it, so... And that's not to say that there aren't plenty who get along on the island as well, but in terms of politically speaking, you know, there there is a lot of uh, back and forth between those, the two groups. Susan. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go talk to Kiernan right now. Please. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. Yikes. You know, in Imperial Yikes. Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Mm -hmm. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. 
Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You know to pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times yep. I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. <laughs> Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping yep. the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Yeah. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating the man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we yep. supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. The <laughs> captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb. When you was pretending to fight Indians. <laughs> Don't call my record into question. It's your abilities that call your record into question, Bill. Now we go left. The uh, road will take us up and round. See, you, you say that uh, Arthur hates Sean, but I think no. He, he hates Bill. He hates Bill, he hates Micah. He likes Javier, he likes Charles. I'm sure he likes Sean. He just gives Sean a lot of shit. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the O'Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out mm -hmm. for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... A sneak like a thief teacher. and a killer. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on. That sneeze, man. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. 
All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. Hmm. Okay. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Taking Bill was definitely a bad idea. We're trying not to set things off. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. <laughs> okay, uh... Glad he better lose his balls. Yep. Friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. Yep. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. He just said it. Bill just said it. Die, but you'll lose your balls first. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Mm. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first floor. Okay. Go to work. Yeah, I know about that, right? He, they would do that early on before the kid had uh, essentially hit puberty, make him a eunuch, and then they'd have that child's voice forever. I'll be stood guard duty, sun up to sun down, soil on my drawers in the spot. Oh, that throwing up is shit. It's off. We move quick. We move hard. We catch you on a word. Come at me, you wild bastards. We got him. Close him. And don't get got, jackass. Yeah, knives are crap unless you hit head. Yeah. Apparently. Got more boys coming in. Goodbye. One down. Two. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. John, what the hell are you doing, boy? Hey, he said Combe be in the cabin. I'll check. 
You look out here. Time to get while the getting is good. Boys, we ought to clear all that. He is so lucky I missed that. Okay, where is the front door to this cabin? Shit! Ooh. Who the hell did that? You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Como Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I swear! I mean... If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. Yeah. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Not wrong. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. Carpet man repeated for don't move. Did that not say right now? Oh, it said left bumper. I'm just an idiot. Double barrel shotgun. Oh, yeah. On the weapon wheel, maintain. Ah, there we go. And we can clean this thing now with the gun oil. There you go. There we go. Very nice. Now we can search the chimney. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred dollars. And then I was given $100 as part of my share. There we go. Very nice indeed. Yeah, so let me go. See, and this is where I wish that, like, that we could actually, like, replay stuff, right? Kind of drives me a little insane that you can't. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a way to do it. But uh, as far as I'm aware, can't as of right now, anyway. Slugs, okay. Shit. Come on, girl. Get the hell out of here. Some serious bullshit. What is the crime? Some serious bullshit. It's 
So where the hell am I? Oh, up by Cumberland Forest. Okay. Okay. Back end of Valentine, essentially. Man, he took us a long way, too. Crime, his existence was a joke in Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah. Available as you gain the attention of the local law, return at a later time. Oh, come on. Oh, that's from the bounty. I see, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why'd you go to labor camp, Yuri? Oh, I breathe. Yeah. I mean, I suppose in many ways the. The, uh. You know, the, the, the gulags in communist Russia was, you know, just as bad as any of the concentration camps in any other situation. Not potentially worse. Oh, you disagreed with Stalin? Yeah, you get to go to the gulag. You know, so... Yeah. It's kind of crazy that there is so much... That there is so much focus on like history classes on like World War II and how how the Germans did horrible things and at the same time they kind of overlook a lot of the crimes that was done by communist Russia communist China all the gulags and concentration camps that were done in those countries but yeah not saying that one is particularly worse than the other but man both are pretty damn horrible. Both cost millions of lives. So. Could have been things as simple as looking at the guard the wrong way. Yep. I mean, Stalin had his lists, right? Like, if you wrote something that Stalin didn't like, or if he didn't like your performance of a certain piece, or if you just kind of told a joke that wasn't funny, Stalin would put you on his list and you'd essentially be gulagged. Or worse, just outright executed. You know? If you've, if you've ever seen... Uh, gosh, what was... Was it The Death of Stalin? Yeah. The Death of Stalin. 2018 movie. It's it's meant to be like a dark comedy. And it is. It's, it's kind of hilarious. But uh, it really does show, in many ways, just like how evil and corrupt the communist Russian system was. Hilarious, right? The movie is hilarious because it kind of makes light of, of the way things were done back then, right? Kind of mocks the, the ridiculousness of all the things that were done, but yeah, it just kind of shows how evil, evil that regime was. Famous one was Neighbors Falsely Reporting. Yep, yep, correct. They were, well, because they would be re rewarded, right? Or if they had any sort of grudges against their neighbor, they would report, they would report them, and essentially get them sent to the gulags. Right? So. People were incentivized to report on their neighbors. People were, in I mean, children were incentivized to report on their parents, if I remember correctly. Like, that whole situation was just messed up completely. So, yeah. Okay, girl. Let's go. Talk all you want, lady. It won't make no difference. 
Part where Stalin dies was accurate. Stalin could have survived the heart attack, but the guards were afraid to enter. Yep. In fact, I, I thought he had some sort of, like, the, w the way the movie shows it kind of implies that he had, like, a brain aneurysm, you know? Which, in many senses, it it's kind of crazy, but, man. <laughs> what do I see over there? Oh, that's, that's literally just a dude. I don't know, one thing I was actually wanting to try... To try my hand... Yep. Try my hand at taming one of these horses and going and selling them. So there we go. Hey, wait, where are you going? There you go. Just take it easy. Just come on. Come on now. Easy. Easy. Easy now. Go easy. Easy. Go easy. Oh, oh, oh shit. Uh, can we try that again now? With thoroughbred. It's okay. Stay calm. Sorry, I'll read your comment in a second. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Hey, there. And this is actually a step up from what I've got currently. Okay, now. Easy, easy. Whoa, 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 easy. Yeah, we've broken this horse. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a good boy. There, boy. <sighs> uh, well, the height of the Soviet Union, one in five was KGB agent, meaning the average family had at least one member in the KGB, meaning family dinners was quiet. Everyone's afraid to speak. That makes sense. Imagine being afraid of speaking to your family and saying, yep. It's pretty insane. Saddle. Easy, girl. Just taking this off. We'll saddle up onto this horse. I think this horse is actually going to be a better horse to have. Right? Show the info. Yeah, see, that can go... It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven speed. And five acceleration, whereas we look at this horse. 
it's only got six speed and four acceleration. So this horse is generally going to be better. This way, girl. And we're going to head back to camp. You know, I'm actually might just go sell Jupiter back the stables. family member who was the agent had to report it. Yeah. Brainwashed to go against their family. That movie was great, though. It was. It was actually really great. I would highly recommend it to anybody who hasn't seen it. Go see it. It is absolutely worth watching. Hilarious, and you get to learn a bit of an unfortunate piece of history. So, yeah. It's hilarious because the things, uh, the things that make you laugh is based on the actual, yeah, what actually happened, yeah. I'm just curious to see how much we can get for him now that he's leveled up. Hey, good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Sell for fourteen twenty-five. Really? That's some bullshit. Well, screw it. I'm going to stable you. Good girl. What do you mean? The, the horse's name was Jupiter. Horse labeled a buck in the with a name like that. Yeah. Oh, I oh I literally have. There's my thoroughbred. Tennessee Walker. Which, to be fair, the Tennessee Walker kind of sucks in comparison with the uh, Morgan. Um, so you know, I think we'll go ahead and sell this guy. That's a nice horse. Happy to buy it. You can only have four horses at any given time. My thoroughbred is outside. Yeah, I'll go hunt that down for you. Upgrade, upgrade what? Equipment appearances and services. Okay, rename the horse. Um, let's do the javelin. You sure? Don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. <laughs> I, 
Um, and they got away with it too? Of course they did. Horse population in America started with a crashed Spaniard ship, a dozen horses. The boar population in America started from four, and now it's like tens of millions. Yep. Particularly with the wild boar being such a problem, like they've, they're, it's, you pretty much got open range to hunt them. Folks come so. from all over for our services. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Mm, what about this one? How much will this one cost? 45? Okay, we'll do this one. My daddy was a blacksmith, right here in this shop. That's how I got learning it. Hey, it costs more for a reason. That it does. That it does. I got one of them myself. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Wow, really? Eh. We won't do it quite yet. What do the horns do? Nice on a Just visuals. Um, blankets. Always yep, wild boars destructed the ecosystem? Correct. They taste good as hell, <laughs> so why not? Exactly, right? Just eating pork, just eating bacon. Might as well, right? I got one of them myself. Always good to have one of those. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Well, um... What's tack and service? Let's do equipment. Oh, back to there. Little fine grooming always sets off a horse. Sure, we'll do the regular. Looking mighty fine. A few careful trims, and this horse will look just fine. And then we'll give him a nice horse care package. That'll make your horse happy. Indeed. Come back soon. That's a good horse. All right, boy. Yes, it is. Uh, I've seen a documentary on this, and it really is. See that? <laughs> that I was not expecting. Seen a documentary on this, and it really is a massive problem. They are out of control and dangerous. Yes, they are. I mean, people have like lost legs. They've gored animal, you know, like dogs and things like that, and kids. So, yeah. It's not a regular pig. No, it's not. And the thing can kill a person, and it can take a nice half dozen bullets before it does. Yep. Correct. Once. 
Well, Buffalo, not Redskins. Oh no. How many Redskins? You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Hello there. Hello. Send them to hell. Now we are just gonna trim. I like the style of the hair, but we are we it needs a trim. That's a little too short, but I like that. Are you interested in some company? Nope, can't do it. Well, that's too bad okay. for you. Ain't no wild and then... no more around here. Ain't nah, we're not gonna nothing. pomade. Nothing nice. More goddamn America. More goddamn shock. That's the more jackass I told you about. Goddamn prissy women yeah? in men's clothing and women. In women's clothing, thinking they must be men. My old Bessie, she can skin a bear with her mm, teeth to help me guide. Full size? Look at you. It's clean shaven. Y'all make a fella sick. Nah. I'm sure all the girls love you. Nah. Nah. Now you talking. I, that's actually not you, bad. Well, look at y'all. Look at you! My time? And it was goddamn men. You ain't men. Yeah, we'll just trim. You ain't men. And again, we'll take down the chops. You women! You're... You're something else. Destroys everything within this environment as well because there's there are so many yeah vegetation completely yes correct yeah because they dig up the earth it's crazy. Just for the fact that they saw you, thank you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. Well, that's a little rude. Oh God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. I can't even interact with him. Okay. I'm tired of looking at you, Quentin. Oh, you you little shit. There's something else you need? Not now, John. Please. You sure? It's money well spent. I can't do anything. You again? I don't care to see you repeat a pass of hate. I am more than you fools. <laughs> <laughs> he just passed out. Okay. Hi, mister. Hey there, partner. Can I not sit down? Come on, game. Can I not sit down? Really? Can't sit down there. Can I lean at the bar? No, I cannot. Oh well. Okay. We're gonna leave it there. I actually need to call it there. Uh, but they taste good and we can kill them, so why not? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Gordon Ramsay had an episode in the USA where they spent, uh, where they went shooting boar from a helicopter and they cooked it up. Yeah. Hell yeah. That sounds amazing. Except for the whole, you don't need to shoot them from a helicopter. I mean, you can essentially just put out some bait and then wait in the middle of the night and there you go. They come in, they're pretty easy to shoot, so. Really? I... <sighs> Well, guys, I do need to call it there. It's middle of the night. It's it's midnight, and I need to call it. So, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, sorry, Emerald. Sorry, Gib. But thank you guys for being here. Uh, it's been it's been a fun night. It's been a fun night. I always enjoy playing this game. So, certainly glad to do that. And we got quite a bit done tonight. So, yeah, thank you guys all so much for being here. Gib Javelin and Emerald Fork. Really do appreciate it, guys. Um, so this is my last stream for the week until Saturday night. Uh, I'll be doing a stream with uh, 
uh, with a friend of mine, Hot Dog Raw Dog, and another friend named Chicago Fawcett. We'll be playing some Daisy, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun little co-op stream, and I think it'll be pretty cool. So be sure to tune in on Saturday night, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and then I'll be also after that I'll be back on Sunday with a random game on Sunday. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to call it there. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the stream, obviously hit the follow button, which I think everybody here is. And uh, if you guys would like to see when I go live, uh, here are the socials. Twitter, Discord, and the Gilded are the three best places for it. Uh, I'll always announce in these three places whenever I go live. And on the Gilded, there is a schedule that I will update every month, which I've just updated today. And then on the Discord, there's a weekly schedule that I update to mirror the Gilded schedule as well. So go check those two places out. And uh, if you guys have missed out on any of these uh, streams, you can go check out the VODs, which are available on YouTube. Uh, the last link is for YouTube. Uh, you can go there, you can check it out. The first two days, well, the first day is up for Red Dead and everything from... Hellblade's Anyway Sacrifice and Dragon Age is already up. Uh, tomorrow, last night's stream will be available, and I'll try and get this up uh, the following day as well. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I really do appreciate it, guys, and I hope to see you guys on Saturday, Saturday evening. But if not, it's always Sunday as well. So, have a great night, guys. Uh, but until until the weekend, this is Green Leader signing out. Did you just come from a battle?